Hello everyone, Sean here and welcome to an unboxing video featuring something special today. Um, it's not quite the console that we've all been waiting for, or many of us anyway. Uh, but it is something relating to it, which is the PlayStation 5 of course, but the controller to be precise. Uh, from what I can understand, someone told me that the uh, controllers came out earlier for some reason. Uh, October 30th to be exact and uh, so I just got this um, on the 1st of November today as I record this so uh, yeah anyway it's here might as well uh, do some with it so get myself to see how the controller feels before I get my hands on the console which is coming uh, it should be here um, on, either on release day or two days after that so anyway it's coming from Amazon, so that's giving you a hint of where I got it from. So anyway, today, uh, today we're going to be just focusing on the controller here. So what it comes with, of course, we're going to unbox it. And I'm just going to get my impressions on how the controller feels in my hands. And we will directly compare it to the DualShock 4 or the PlayStation 4 controller that I will bring in later on. So anyway, um, let's get to the unboxing of things. Let me uh, get my special little cutter here. Anyway, it's more like a letter opener, but this will work just fine. Oh wow, just went through pretty clean. Anyway, let's put that away. Open this baby up. So the seal has been broken, and now we can begin unboxing the baby. So I get to feel the next generation of gaming. Wow, what a treat. But uh, before anything, I guess, here's the front of the box here. Hopefully it'll focus. Uh, and then here's the back of it, right? Um, let's see how that comes out. But anyway, it uh, tells you what the features are, of course. So I'll just I'll read it here. It says haptic feedback, adaptive controller, or triggers, excuse me built-in microphone and the signature comfort that hopefully I will feel on this controller here. I've been hearing good things from the earlier reviewers, uh, so which is uh, kind of promising, so I will get to it in a bit. Oh, another box within a box. Okay. Let's see here, there's the controller itself. Just sitting right there, and um, huh, okay. I was expecting some sort of cable to come with it, but let's see if it'll be in here. Oh, I guess not. Wow, it really does look nice, though. I will give it that. Um, very solid feel, like. I will bring my controller, my DualShock 4 controller in a bit, but I'm a little disappointed, just a tiny bit, that it doesn't come with a USB-C cable of any sort. Uh, let me see in the back of the box. Oh yeah, it says um, a USB cable is not included to a connect uh, or charging controller. Use uh, USB cable type C included with the PlayStation 5 console. So the cable will come with the console, and they're counting on that, um, <laughs> so that you know you use that to charge the controller. Which I guess it makes sense, but I do have plenty of other USB uh, Type Cs uh, to go around, including for this controller here. So that's fine. But I was just kind of expecting for it to come with a cable of sorts. It would be nice, but it is what it is. So, anywho, anywho, um, let's uh, focus on, here's the manual for it. Let's focus on what is important here, which is this. And, ooh, so it's got a textured shell on the bottom here. You can definitely feel, uh, it's got like a very, like a fine, soft sandpaper sort of quality to it. Sort of, it's like kind of, it's, 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 it's grainy. It's got a grainy feel to it, I will say that much. It's textured. Uh, pretty nice, right? Um, and the control, the control sticks or the analog sticks, 
do feel pretty sturdy and tight. But not too stiff or anything like that, but tight enough for me. I do like the feel of the sticks so far. The, the tops right here feel pretty good. Nice uh, control sticks so far. And let me just show you guys what it looks like before I forget, sorry about that. So here it is. Hopefully that shows up pretty nice, but I will do uh, close up shots in post. So that will come in handy. Anyway, um, the buttons seem like feel a little small, but I do like how they you know, feel. The clicking isn't too obnoxious, right? They're not as loud. The the D-pad sort of has this like clicky feel to it, and I kind of do like it, right? And um, yeah, again, I gotta I gotta comment on the sticks. They feel pretty good. It's th they feel pretty good in my hands. The overall feel, the grip is good. I I do really like it. Uh, like I said, the bottom portion of things, or, or the grips at least, are textured. And um, we will try to check out a certain Easter egg that people have been talking about on Twitter. But um, I do like the design overall, just from the looks of it, you know. I do like the black sort of accents, the overall white they're going for this time around. I'm a, I know they've always gone for like the more black sort of color in the past. But I do like my electronics um, more on the white side of things. It just looks more clean or modern nowadays I, I, uh, it kind of matches with my the imax i have and all the other devices that i have as well but um oh yes the the triggers right the shoulder buttons feel nice and uh got that clicky feel to it that's um pretty nice not too noisy though so it's pretty cool uh the triggers so far feel just fine you know, however, I'm not, you know, not that I'm playing with them or anything like that, so we don't get to feel the adaptive triggers or anything like that. Uh, the magical triggers that, you know, they have been talking about. So hopefully a game like, you know, Gran Turismo and such in the future will sort of, sort of show off that feature. So I look, do look forward to that. But otherwise, yeah, um, the build though does feel really solid. Like when I'm trying to like, you know, sort of, twist it quote unquote or bend it it doesn't creak right away so it does have a very solid feel to it so i do like that um it's got the microphone right there the microphone hole and then you can kind of see the micro uh the headphone jack anywho uh let's see here and then of course you got the nice usb type c which is really good an improvement personally for me I mean, I think it's for everyone, really. Um, no one liked micro USB. That thing can go. <laughs> Let's just put it that put put it nicely. Um, I know I try to use the DualShock 4 uh, controllers for PC, and the micro USB connection is just terrible, 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 terrible. It keeps disconnecting, reconnecting, disconnecting again. I think we, many of us know that experience for those who p uh, play on PC as well. So yeah. But uh, let's go ahead, speaking of which, compare that to the DualShock 4, which I will bring over uh, in a few. So here is the DualShock 4 that uh, I've been using um, up until now pretty much for the PlayStation 4. Sorry, I'm just making sure the picture is coming through. But anyway, the, whatchamacallit, the uh, controller has been treating me nicely. I mean, it's kind of been, um, you know, doing a job and stuff like that. And uh, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a definitely a controller. But I think, uh, I mean, it. Do, I mean, to be fair, this does also have a texture on the bottom. If anyone didn't notice already, right? The sticks and all that stuff, you know, feel okay. You know, in comparison. I just feel like because you know I've been using this controller longer, maybe that's why it has that feel to it. So I got I gotta like break in the controller to like probably get around the same level in terms of like how the sticks feel and stuff like that. But initially they do feel good. I do like you know uh, these sticks. Um, different texture to them. I noticed uh, the grips on them on the side are different, so they probably do. 
uh, help a lot of things when it comes to um, less slippage or anything to that sort. The D-pad in comparison, um, I feel like does feel better in terms of like how the thumb sort of hits the D-pad, you know what I mean, touches the D-pad, the, the feel uh, per se does feel pretty good. The sort of clear um, sort of plastic to it does have some level of grip. It's not texture or anything, but it, it, it for some reason I feel this is like a lot more grippy than this in comparison, but then again, it's been used quite a bit, so that's probably why. So I've noticed also, realized, is that the light on the, what you see on the uh, DualShock 4 isn't quite present here, but then again, the, I'm pretty sure the stuff around the touchpad, which by the way does feel, you know, a little different. This is a, has some sort of texture to it. This uh, has a more matte sort of texture to it, so not quite. It doesn't have that gloss, glossy sort of um, coating to it, so your fingerprints don't show up as terribly. Um, so I do like that as well. Overall, though, the controller itself has a nice finish to it. It does look nice. The ooh, yeah. So now that I compared the triggers and all that stuff, even though this is textured on the DualShock 4 triggers and shoulders. This has quite the better feel when it comes to grippiness to it on the shoulders and the triggers, but it could be just me, I don't know. And also this is a brand new controller too. This is uh, quite used, so again, might have been going some, through some sort of wear and tear uh, for, for, my, for my use, I guess, but um, the overall feel, or the overall build, like I said, I don't know if you can sort of hear that, but it does creak when you, uh, you know, kind of turn the controller or twist the controller just a bit. But no, this is this feels way more solid, way more solid. So this does feel more like a premium controller in comparison uh, to this. So, I do really like this uh, feel of it. Um, just the overall solid the, the DualShock controller, man. Uh, solid, solid build, solid feel to it. It feels uh, more like the <laughs> controller of its price and something like this. These now cost like what, 50 bucks or something like that, right? 40 bucks even sometimes on a good day. But I think these ones are going to go for $79.99, I want to say, or 80 bucks pretty much. I could be wrong. It, it could be even more or less. Uh, I think 60 bucks at the, at, the, at the cheapest. Very solid feel. I like the, um, the textured bottom or the, uh, the, the textured grips on it. Feels nice. Um, the overall uh, relatively matte finish is still there. So the fingerprints don't show up as terribly. Um, this one, uh, yeah, <laughs> the, at least here anyway, I can definitely see some fingerprints, which is pretty nasty. But as I, you know, sort of touch the touchpad, uh, relatively nothing, you know, probably with like a lot of use to it, then we may see something, especially with this being white. It will probably get dirty, but um, yeah, man. I th well, I think it's because also the when it comes to the solid build, um, it's uh, assembled quite differently. So you can like see the lines right here that go along around the controller that, that um, you know come off and stuff like that when you unscrew it. So this might be. So when you unscrew this one, this will com probably come apart differently. So that's why the, the build is quite um, sturdier, just because it, the way it's assembled is different uh, in comparison to this controller. You know, The home button, I forgot to mention, while this is just a, a, a round, you know, plain old button, 
the home button on this on this guy is the actual it's like a PlayStation logo button so it's not just like a regular round button oh but also this right here I don't know if you can see that but there's a um, a light button on the bottom that probably is the mute button I'm assuming for the microphone so that's pretty cool um, instantly easily mute the mic that's pretty nice um, I don't know how the microphone will perform uh, on this controller, but it's a start, you know, I mean, for those who don't have headsets or don't like wearing headsets, aren't, you know, they fit, you know, they don't like having things on their head or on their ears or something like that, hugging their head, you know, I can understand that. So at least this is kind of a start, you know, but hopefully the microphone itself is, um, passable, but for now, we don't know. But at least there is a, you know, jack for it, so that's fine. You can plug that in with your preferable uh, head, uh, headphone or headset, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, um, I guess that's all right. I'm like rambling at this point, so um, I'll leave it at that. So again, I, I like the feel of this controller so far. It seems really promising. I do want to get myself playing uh, in a couple of weeks since the PlayStation 5 did, uh, will come out on the 12th of November, I believe, right? So hopefully by then I get a good feel of the controller and the, ga the gaming experience thus far. And uh, I'll, I'll definitely let you guys know about that in another video. So overall, the just from the feel of the controller, I don't know if that shows up any different, but anyway, <laughs> um, it does, feel promising I'll say that much so if uh, if you all have comments uh, about the controller or any questions or anything like that uh, leave me down below I'll try to answer it answer them to my uh, the best of my ability and I'm going to like the video and subscribe and all that stuff uh, really appreciate it, guys really helps out I do have a Twitter and all that uh, social media stuff in the description and so this has been my unboxing and impressions on the uh, dual sense controller or aka a playstation 5 controller um pretty good start the feel is good i do like the controller itself so far but i haven't game with it just yet so these are just first impressions remember that they may change you never know so until then i'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much sean out